I'm Delena Smith, and this is my EDL 853 case study for Module 8. And within this case, there are three major players. We've got Carl, who is a third grade student. We know that his parents divorced roughly three months ago. Previously, they had seen some evidence of self-abuse. However, now this has turned into aggression towards his teacher. Um, within his file, there is no concern of any kind of intellectual functioning. We've got his classroom teacher, who is Miss Nancy Taylor. Um, she is recognized by other staff members as a good teacher. However, she's become the target of Carl's aggression. So now she is wanting Carl to be removed from her classroom. And then we've got Miss Susan Green, who um, not only is she in her first year of um, teaching, but she's also in her first year of special education within this district. And this happens to be a district where there is minimal support and supervision just due to the nature of the district. Um, it's multiple buildings with a single superintendent who then travels around working to visit each district once within the week. Um, resources are shared across the various buildings, which then can make it a little trickier to get those right resources with the right building on a regular basis. Um, Ms. Taylor, excuse me, Ms. Taylor has seen an increased amount of aggression from Carl. Um, and now she is beginning to become fearful of this and is taking it as a threat. So now she wants him removed from the classroom. However, Miss Green has gone through Carl's files. She's come up with this plan and she feels that it'll help ensure the safety of Miss Taylor as well as Carl's other classmates. She does have the approval of the superintendent, um, but needs to get Carl's parents approval for the new plan. So after a week of trying to um, reach out to Carl's parents, she finally got a response and was able to get them to come in for an IEP change. Um, a little backstory on his parents, though, was that the divorce that they just went through was very intense, including the need for um, some police support to come in and de-escalate the situation. So now they both seem to be very distracted from the actual purpose of this IEP meeting, um, kind of reaching out to one another with some frustrations rather than focusing merely on what is going to make Carl the most successful. Ms. Taylor leaves the meeting very frustrated by the new plan um, and makes the statement that this is not the approach that the previous special education teacher would have taken. So now Ms. Green is facing um, a, an IEP plan that not everyone is on board with. So looking at the problem, we know that Carl's behavior has changed. Because of these changes, his current IEP is no longer effective and needs to be revised. Um, his aggressions that were previously targeted at only at himself are now targeted at his, his teacher as well as other teachers. Due to his size, um, <coughs> excuse me, Ms. Taylor doesn't feel as though she can um, maintain control of the classroom if he begins to have an outburst. Um, there is mention that at times he might possibly need to be restrained, and she doesn't feel that she can do that. Although he's been diagnosed as having behavioral disorders, we do have to keep in mind that there was no questioning of any of his intellectual function. Um, and although she wants him removed from the classroom, Ms. Green has found that his emotional problems are not severe enough for that type of a removal um, of his educational environment. So my proposed plan of action would begin with Ms. Green spending um, an extended amount of time doing observations with Carl. Not only would this give her an opportunity to see his behaviors in action, but also she could observe responses as well as some stimulus um, from his classroom teacher and his classmates. Um, since we know that there have been some great changes within his household over the last three months, um, as his parents have divorced, moms had to go to work um, roughly 50 hours a week, um, there's just a lot of changes going on. So I would also be looking at additional supports that could then come in and address um, other needs that Carl may be having, such as the school counselor, the school psych, and possibly even the social worker. Would need to make sure, though, um, that it would fall within those parameters of his IEP or the services offered um, to all students. I would then encourage Ms. Green to experiment with this proposed plan. Um, again, by spending some time in the classroom, although it may require a substitute teacher or um, some reconfiguration of the Paris schedules, I feel like being in the classroom and um, modeling what this plan is going to look like for Ms. Taylor, um, if he was to have an outburst, she could then take Carl out of the classroom at that time, um, talk with Carl about if he feels like he's needing um, 
to, to leave the classroom, this is where you would go, this is your safe place, those kinds of things would then help that transition to move more smoothly. And then finally, I would want to make sure that Ms. Green and Ms. Taylor were in agreement for um, the plan for Carl to continue to receive instruction and complete his assignments. Since his IEP is based on behavioral disorders, we would want to make sure that his instruction and um, intellectual opportunities are not compromised because of that. Um, we would not want um, the classroom removal over the behavior to um, remove opportunities from him. To ensure the success of all students, I feel like removing Carl from the classroom will ensure the safety of staff and teachers, as well as his um, classmates. Additionally, it will allow him, um, who at these times may become the distraction, um, to be removed from that learning environment and allow the class to progress. But I also feel like separating him from that stimulus of whatever the outburst is um, may actually allow him to go to that safe place, cool down, and then return in a uh, quicker manner. Ideally, what we would be looking for um, would be for Carl to begin to recognize when he feels himself escalating and then remove himself from the situation prior to the outburst occurring. Um, go to that safe place, calm himself down. Um, of course, there would be supervision um, and when you determine that safe place, that would be part of that. But then he could return back to the classroom and uh, minimize the amount of structural time that was missed. As I was going through this, um, lots of things that I was thinking, um, such as what is the cause of the outburst, what kind of interventions is Ms. Taylor doing in the classroom, um, whether it's to avoid the outburst or suppress them once they begin, how is this affecting Carl's relationships? Um, his peers, his teacher, his parents, um, feelings, concern for the safety of the students and the staff members. We don't want our students to ever feel like they're not safe when they're in the school or in the classroom. So I, that was probably my greatest um, feeling. Frustrated um, that we're looking at compromising his instructional time. Um, saddened to see that his parents are so caught up in what they're dealing with that they've um, they tend to have overlooked him is how it appears. Um, empathetic for this new teacher who doesn't have the support and the resources that she needs um, within her building. That's got to be a very difficult task. And then making sure that we're valuing the student and staff safety, those instructional opportunities for all students, um, Carl's mental health as well as that of those around him, and looking at the root cause for these outbursts, um, ensuring that we're going to utilize all of our resources in the best way possible, and then making sure that we've got that a team approach for moving forward with the IEP. A couple of unresolved issues that I would want to make sure we looked farther into um, the cause of the change in his behavior. We know that it's very easy to assume that the divorce was the cause in Carl's behavioral changes. However, I feel like um, truly working with the school counselor, the school psych, the social worker would then provide um, some data to back up that decision and that assumption. I would want to make sure that we were training our teachers appropriately um, regarding the least restrictive environment, what kind of interventions they could be doing in the classroom, whether it be to prevent behavioral escalades or um, to de-escalate the situation once it begins, and then making sure that we understand the IEP as a whole, as well as understanding um, specific student requirements based upon their individual um, IEP. And then looking at how do we ensure that the administrative support at the building level with it being these assistant superintendents who have the teacher duties, um, how does this work to make sure that it's successful for everyone involved? And then looking at the success um, of all, we've got the academic success. I feel like allowing Carl to be removed when that behavior escalates would allow the teacher to continue to keep her focus on teaching her students and allow those students um, to then move forward with their education. But we want to make sure that we're also ensuring opportunities for Carl to have that safe space where he can go and he can cool down and then hopefully more quickly return back to that learning environment. Um, we also are trying to teach him to monitor his own behavior, recognize those escalades, remove himself, calm himself, and then return. And that's a skill that not only is going to help him have additional success in his current year, but also throughout his academic career. Looking at everyone's personal well-being, um, 
first of all, when he becomes aggressive towards others, we've got to look at the safety of everyone involved. So I feel that removing him during those times would then um, reassure the students and staff members that they are safe. Um, I feel that pairing Carl with additional services will then provide him the support that he needs to ensure emotionally um, he's getting that support that he needs. Uh, Ms. Green, if she is spending time in the classroom, that would provide support to Ms. Taylor. It would allow her to um, focus more on her students and doing um, what her responsibilities are to the class as a whole, as well as to help make that transition a little bit smoother. And then finally, um, if we could remind Mr. and, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Hughes um, of the purpose of those IEP meetings, um, kind of refocus their attention a little bit on Carl and the support that he needs. Um, hopefully it would provide a little more um, support at home for him as well. And then enhancing the instructional capacity. We want to make sure that removing Carl from um, the classroom helps to alleviate some of those tensions. We want to make sure that we're building positive relationships between Carl and his peers as well as Carl and Mrs. Taylor. And we want that learning experience within the classroom to be as positive as possible. And providing an alternate excuse me, an alternate learning environment. When he leaves to go to that safe place, we want to make sure that um, he is not losing out on instruction. So there needs to be a plan in place for how he will continue to receive instruction once he leaves the classroom. Um, making sure that we're modeling and supporting. I feel like Ms. Green could then um, ease those concerns of Ms. Taylor by allowing her focus to remain on her students and Ms. Green to kind of show her how this um, modification would work in the classroom for Carl and eventually transitioning some of that um, recognition and responsibility for his behavior back to Carl so that he could not only um, be more successful in third grade, but also in the years to come. So I feel like overall there's a lot of different aspects within this case. Um, I feel like Ms. Green has done an excellent job of researching, um, making sure that she's meeting the IEP requirements, um, but at the same time not compromising the learning situation for Carl. I think it's important to make sure that everyone is on the same page though. Moving forward, we want everyone, including the classroom teacher and the parents and the administrators to be supportive of this plan so that when issues do arise, um, the team can come back, reconvene, and um, make good decisions that are going to help increase Carl's success in the classroom. So thank you very much.